Hey everyone, Brandon here with Galway Precision. Today we are going to go over the installation of our Plus One Mag extension for the Walther PPS uh, M series, the M1 and the M2. Um, the mags are the same across the board, only difference is the M1's got the uh, European style mag release in the magwell here, or not the magwell, trigger guard. And then the M2 has a standard American uh, mag release right there on the side. So internally, uh, they made some minute changes, but it, essentially the gun's pretty much the same across the board um, with some control changes. All right, so this is your six round mag that you get stock uh, with your PPS. Um, and the reason it's six, I know you got two, four, six, seven, showing seven holes, but the follower on the six round is uh, slightly different from the seven round. So it bottoms out much sooner. You can almost cram a seventh round in there, but it just, you just, it's just not wanting to go. And that is because as you can see in your bat, um, pardon me, your bottom uh, counting hole here, we have reached the bottom. You can see it from the front, you can see it from the side followers all the way at the bottom so what we have done is make just enough room to add that seventh round and have enough play to be able to uh, make it a seven rounder so that you can carry seven plus one on your short mag and then you have your uh, seven round man which it will also fit the seven round mag and you can turn it into an eight rounder but the reason we made it specifically for the short mag is it will actually sit right perfect in the magwell okay so let's go over tools you're going to need you need your 1 8 inch punch you're going to need no 50 allen wrench all right so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to flip our mag up we're going to take our 1 8 inch punch push in on our locking plate and push our base pad off and i'll give you an idea of what i'm talking about with the follower you can see how long it is okay so while it looks like you're going to have a lot of room this is purposely made to bottom out and uh, I'll have to pull the other mag out again but it'll tell you the numbers on the inside of the follower denote something to Walter but I'm pretty sure it has to do with the height of the follower all right so I'm put that all back in there now we're going to compress our locking plate Traction. before we go that far take your 050 and you're gonna take and turn because these are gonna ship with the set screw that holds it in place on the mag with about two or three threads out like that okay let's go ahead and take your 050 turn it clockwise till it's flush then we're gonna compress our locking plate the locking plate on these are tricky so when you get it on at first you may have to go ahead and take your one eighth and play with it a little bit because it does have a tendency to want to tilt back like that when you first get going all right so go ahead and as it's going to pop up in the front take your one eighth push down and then we're going to give it one good hard tap on the bench it's going to put the locking plate in place and take our 050 allen wrench we're going to go turn it counterclockwise now to where we've got about two threads showing and as you can see on the bottom have this cut out here in the PPS and that's exactly where that screw will sit okay and as you can see we made it for the short mag so that you've got this nice contour to it, it gives you a nice little pinky rest and uh, so you still have your extended mag as your backup mag much easier to conceal with the short mag but we're not adding enough to where it's gonna make hey I've got a gun on you know that's not gonna stick out a whole lot so let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just like you can normal, it wants to go away, but there's just not enough room. We're bottomed out on our follower, but we've added our extra round. And it will close and lock in place on a closed slide feeding is not an issue uh, and uh, 
course, like we do with everything else. Uh, we'll do a proving video later on. Uh, this, the PPS is on my list of things um, because we've already got parts for it. It's kind of hard to do the 100 rounds plus parts plan videos we've been doing lately, but still, we'll return her to stock and give you an idea of what we're going to do with it. But for Carrie, nice little pistol, and kudos to Walther for being the first subcompact um, pistol maker out the gate with the PPS can now come equipped with the Shield Sights RMS. Um, and that is a big deal on these carry guns. You guys follow us, you know, we do a lot of those. Um, and it's not a fad if you are like me and have worn glasses your whole life. Um, that dot makes a big difference compared to uh, iron sights. It makes it much easier to find the target and it's just it's the wave of the future. For those of us that have bad eyes, it is a game changer. Um, also, be sure to go over to Walther Arms uh, Instagram and Facebook pages. Give them a follow. Uh, reached out to them the other day. They were very excited uh, for the part. So I sent them some samples of the stuff we're working on for the PPS and the CCP and uh, what other pistols we'll be working on in the future. I'll be sending them uh, samples of. So you'll see this stuff directly on their feeds. So that's going to wrap this one up, guys. Uh, very simple, straightforward installation of the extension. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to email me at tech. That's Tango Echo Charlie Hotel at GallowayPrecision.com. Be sure to follow us on social media here on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Vimeo, and GunStreamer. And as always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.